Hi everyone, I wasn't going to be coming on camera tonight because I'm a bit tired. It's been a really, really long day, but I wanted to show you something. I actually had my hair done and it's gone a bit funny. I wish it was better looking for you because it looked lovely at first. The, the guy, Duke, really done a fantastic job. It was on the photo shoot we did today for River Edge, the cosmetic dental, dental practice. It was at Mansion House and I was the girl who done the makeup today. So there was five people I did makeup on and I'll be getting the photo shoot through to my email of the makeup shoot and I'm going to show them to you because I'm dead proud. I've never done that many in one go like that. I was on my feet all day, on and off, walking around and the shoes I was wearing were like digging in but I was alright. I managed my back and it killing though. Um, so I had a really good day today so I'm dead excited about that. Um, it went fantastic. Everyone was fan everyone was brilliant. All the ladies were great to work with. Um, we had wine if we wanted it but I'm glad I didn't because I had the makeup all over the face so I waited right till the end and then I decided not to have much because it was going to my head because I hadn't eaten all day because I was busy. It was an early start um, and I was supposed to get back and do some phoning around but I didn't get a battle sick so I never got to do anything um, and I've just completely chilled and rolled around with the dogs and, and, the, and ate the pizza because I didn't, couldn't be bothered to cook so me and Jordan had some pizza. I know, not good but you know. So we did that because there's just too much to do when I got back and I couldn't be bothered. Um, and I wanted to come and show you this but it's kind of gone down now. It was lovely and ringlety and it was right down my back. And it looked absolutely gorgeous when you had finished. But obviously I've been scratching like hell because it was hairspray on. I'm not used to hairspray. But when he had finished it, I looked beautiful. It really did. I really liked the look of it and it made us want to do my hair more often. But I just find it dead hard. So I'm going to get some big curlers and really make an effort and try. It made us think, you know, we'll do something with it because it's, it is, it's long and it's drab. But today it didn't look it. And it was funny because before we, he had pulled the, the curlers out, they were all pinned up. And it looked so funny because I could just picture, because we were in this mansion house doing the makeovers and the photo shoots, and if I'd have wore a period gown, I'd have looked the part because my hair was up in roller cur like curls and pinned. And I've never looked like that before because nobody's ever done me hair. Because it's so long and so just unruly, and it just takes forever to do. And he was there for ages, and I kept saying, I'm sorry. And he was like, no, don't worry about it. You know, he was dead patient. Um, I wasn't meant to be having my hair done today. It was a surprise because it was for the girls who were doing the calendar um, I was doing the makeup and they were getting their hair done in between I was keep getting the girls through with either makeup with their hair done or not ready to go in and so it was kind of we weren't rushed rushed but I felt like I couldn't take forever on them you know but we did a really good job it was all perfect everybody worked well the hairdresser wow what an infectious laugh he was just pissing himself laughing all the way through the whole thing he just made you want to laugh and even when we were out on the courtyard outside, you could hear him laughing through the window. It was really funny. I kept thinking, what's that noise? You know, but it was him laughing. And it's just put everybody at ease. Everyone was brilliant. The girls were so brave. They went naked, completely stark raving naked. And um, these are all the girls that had had their teeth done. And when they said to me, do you want, you know, once you get your smile done, are you going to do it? I says, no, no way. And I don't mind smiling on the camera when I get my teeth done, but I'm not going naked. They were really brave, good, you know, good on them. Nothing on at all getting for photographed in this mansion house, um, lying on couches, sprawled downstairs on, um, you know, like, um, you know, when you go up the stairs, you've got the banister. I think it's a banister all them kind of things and they were just fantastic they just got on with it and I mean there's a photographer there and loads of were all walking around people with the hair and towels with that the, the um, dressing gowns on ready to get the photo taken and the makeup done and the hair done so there's plenty of people walking around this building the front doors were open and um, it looked like a, a hotel kind of home which may have been used the, the day before or for a wedding or something I don't know but it was a fun day out just looked like Laura Toff Laura, Laura Toft, Laura Croft's kind of Tomb Raider home with plenty of stairs and creaky floorboards and funny looking people walking around downstairs who we didn't really know but we were just borrowing the building so it was fun. So I really, really, really enjoyed myself and a couple of the girls got a little bit merry and that was just hilarious because you know when people get merry the, you know, the things they come out with so the whole day was just a blast. Um, it tops off the day yesterday because I had a bit of a bad day yesterday but today was alright um, but I was glad to get home because I was absolutely knackered. I've got lots to do tomorrow. I've got to go and meet the people, well, one girl from the Gazette tomorrow. I think it's just an update, but I'll let you know if it's going to be in the paper again. I'm not sure. And if it is, I'm going to have it in my scrapbook. <laughs> I've got, I'm going to gather them all up. I've got my scrapbooks getting thick with all the bits and pieces, so I like that. Because I'm dead proud. It's, it's like a, a collage of all sorts. 
So, mm, yes. Um, also, there was something else. I'm trying to think quick. There was something. Yes, the, the news. You'll have to wait. I think maybe some of you might have guessed already, but it's still at contract stage and I'm getting things looked over and um, I'll get back to you with some news. I'm over the moon about it. I couldn't be happier if it goes ahead, if everything gets sorted. I'm not sure yet, we'll just see. But um, I think it's going to be good. Mm -hmm, I do, I'm really pleased with what's happening. Um, yes, I went to New York and yes, I got spotted by somebody which was absolutely freaky because it's, it's New York, you know, you expect people in the town to come over here but the fact that I'd only gone over there for a couple of days and I was sat there at night just taking in the scenery and the smoke coming out the drains and I'm a funny, I like America and since being little I've always dreamed of wanting to go there and so being there for me was like really exciting even if I was just sat there in the street it, it was more than you know more than normal for me because I'm a bit odd like the photo show I took a picture of the rubbish because it was just funny because we don't get rubbish like that yeah we get a black milk go van a black milk go bin you know and the van comes away and takes it you know but then big rubbish dumps I just thought it was I just thought it was funny so I thought I'll, I'll just one snap happy and then I lost my battery charger and I don't know where it went I think I've left it plugged in the hotel so someone's in for a treat because I tried to plug my camera in at home and it's all gone so I don't know where it went but never mind but yes I had a fantastic day today I'm home now I'm probably going to switch the camera off and realise I was meant to tell you something but I can't remember what it was oh yes yes the next thing on the agenda for my teeth I get I think the wax ups are back I've got the little bleaching kit for me bottom the bottom ones apparently are fine so they're not getting touched which I'm kind of happy of I want to keep some of my own Um, I'm I'm kind of a bit worried because I've got polycystic, as you know, polycystic ovaries, and with polycystic ovaries, you get you, you turn into a hairy little bunny. Except you don't, you're not as cute as a hairy bunny being a, a human. And the other day, I had a bright spark idea because I thought I need to be, you know, de-haired, ready for me, me makeup shoot. Well, I'm going to be doing makeup on people because I'm going to be in close proximity to them. And I decided to get some wax and strips and stick them on. And pull, but they didn't come out, did they? So then I had a bright, so then I had a bright idea, and I used cream, and I used the normal body removing cream. It wasn't facial hair cream; it was body removal cream. And now I've burnt the skin, and then I had to pluck it on top of it all. I was just red beetroot and on fire. And because I've got this problem, and I'm having to remove hair from like. Well, they are, I feel like they grow more than they should anyway, but this is just ridiculous. I mean, it's every day now. And I remember being younger when I was did have friends and I used to go out a lot. My friend Claire shaved us. Big mistake, don't ever, ever shave your tash. Because <laughs> it's just not good. It's going to go back like, um, you know, Godzilla. And it did. So, you know, with the dark hair, the polycystic ovaries, I just don't stand a chance. It's too bad I'm on a good day. So, I got rid of it. But, I don't know if you can see. That was my chair. Can you see the nice scab? I've got a beautiful scab. I burnt my skin off, didn't I? And it's very sore, it's like carpet burn, like, you know, being scrubbed across a carpet or something. So I think I'm gonna have to just lay off for a bit. And I think I'm gonna save up and get electrolysis because I want this out my face for good. It's just stupid, there's too much to keep up on top of. And I've noticed since the polycystic ovaries really took effect, I've noticed there's more and more coming out more often. It's more to keep up on top of. The amount of times I stand and cry in the mirror, I think, God, not me, why me? Pluck, pluck, pluck. It's just ridiculous, you know? I feel like a hairy beast, I do. <laughs> I'm laughing, but sometimes I can cry. Cry to the point where I can't even say where I'm plucking because of the tears. But that's another story. But anyway, I think I'm going to save up and get some electrolysis. Hopefully. It just means that if anything happens in the meantime, you can't get rid of it properly. You've got to just shave in between your, your, your hair removal sessions. So I'm going to have to be removing it, like, just with a razor. And then you're going to get a black shadow but you've got to do that in between your sessions so you're just left in between to rot basically and I'm not looking forward to that bit going to the salon to get it done with like a beard worse than my dad's it's funny because one day I got in the car with him and I had it I just had a funny just a funny thing you know how you have a laugh with your dad and I made a joke of it and I said I've got a bone to pick with you you didn't teach me how to shave like you would with your son because <laughs> I never got taught how to shave but I need it anyway enough about here because I'm getting a bit bored let's just get comfy I'm sitting on my foot so I'm going to have to love you all and leave you. But I'll be back on here soon talking about more tootie pegs because they're coming. I think well, there's a deadline for six weeks. They'll all be done. So I've got loads of bleaching to do. I've been told I can safely go to bed with the 
with the, the plastic teeth thing and my mouth with the bleach on. But I don't feel very comfortable about that in case I swallow them. And knowing my look, I open my gob and snore when I'm asleep with the fat, so they'll be down my throat and I'll be choking. So I'm um, funny about that, I think I'll do it during the day, but it's got to be left in for five hours. They're not easy to talk within, and I'm mm -hmm. and then you can't do not you can't drink any coffee or anything, which is not good for five hours every other day. But now that my tooth's healed up, I'm not in any pain at all. So at least I know if this has to come out this side, it's only going to be another week of horrendous horror and swallowing neurofen and the you know cirrhosis of the liver. Just like I was a drinker, and I'm not. But I've got the same liver as one because of the amount of neurofen I take. But anyway, it's got to be done. So if I have to have that removed, I know it's only another week of pain and then it's over and done with. This is healed, so it's give us hope. So, fingers crossed. But I will keep updating as much as I can. The next video I do is going to be a makeup one because we've got so many to catch up on. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Oh, and if you have ordered from eBay, please bear with us. The orders are getting so big now that I'm having to take a sack full down to the post office. I used to just pop on a bus with a bag full, but I can't now. I'm having to pay for a taxi because I don't drive myself. So I'm paying for a taxi to get to the post office with two sacks. And I'm only being able to do that once or twice a week. So if you are deciding to order, please be patient with us. I will send your stuff out. I'll not keep your money and not send your stuff. Just it's not going to be like every other day like it used to be. So just to get that clarified. And I'm off because I am shattered and I'm up early again. So zoom zoom.